I'm trying to reach Vanessa, please. This is she. Hi, Vanessa. My name is Robert. I'm the, um, uh, one of the owners. You know my wife, Michelle. We own the, uh, Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. How can I help you? Okay. We've been, uh, I think we've had your son Malik probably close to a year now. Am I right? <laughs> yes, you have. Is everything okay? No, everything is fine. Everything is fine. I don't think we uh, we have a problem that we can't clear up. Um, I, I have a question for you. Have, have you been noticing anything different about Malik, um, uh, like concerning hygiene and all? Hygiene? No. Not that I can recall. What are you talking about? Okay. How old is Malik? He's two. Okay. Well, we just seem to have come across a little glitch here that we're going to try to take care of here at the uh, at the daycare. I, actually, my wife didn't. I told her I would make the phone call and leave her out of it. I know you see her every day once. Yeah, you but drop what, what, what glitch are you talking about? What, what What is this glitch? I'm sorry? Glitch. What is this glitch that you want to talk about? I'm confused. Okay. Well, actually, what we're having is it seems like every day here lately for the last two months, uh, Malik has been, you know, very, musty, you know, he hasn't been really sweaty, but just real musty. Okay, you clearly have the wrong child, because I give my son a bath every night, and most mornings before he leaves to school, I give him another bath again, so, yeah, I'm pretty positive you have the wrong child. No, ma'am, your son is Malik, right, and he's, he's two years old, you guys have been here with us right close to a year now, correct? Yes, and? Okay, and he's a cute little kid with the curly hair, I know exactly which one he is. So what I'm what I'm saying to you is that we are having problems. He's just he's just reeking, you know. He's real musty. Okay, you know what? My son does not reek. I don't know what child you're talking about, but you're not talking about my child. I just told you I make sure that he gets a bath every night. So that's not my child. My child is very clean. Okay, well, well, hang on, Vanessa. What I'm trying to get you to understand is I'm trying to. This is why my wife didn't want to call. Okay, and I'm glad I'm actually the one that made the call. What we need to do, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try a little experiment for the next month or so. Experiment? I'm, gonna, I'm sorry? What, what, what do you mean experiment? What kind of experiment? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some male deodorant on him what? for the next month. For the, well, just for the next month, and we'll see how it plays no, out. No, 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 no. You're not, you're not going to put anything on my child. That's not going to happen. Okay, well, ma'am, I'm trying to I'm trying to fix the problem here. I just wanted to call. He and doesn't have a you. problem. I already told you that my son is clean. You're not going to put any on him, and if you do, it's going to be a problem. Do you understand me? Okay, ma'am, I'm not trying to have an argument with you. What I want you to know is... Well, I'm not I'm trying, trying to have an argument either, but you're, trying to, you're talking about putting the order on my child. You you can't do that. I'm not going to have that happening. Please don't make me have to come back to that school for you and your wife. Okay, now, um, listen, we're going to have to do something about your child. Your child is musty, okay? And you're sitting here getting an attitude with me, and I'm trying to let you know your child is you're musty. You're nonsense. Maybe you're the one that's musty. Maybe you and your wife are musty. My child is not musty. I keep telling you that I bathe him every night. Which part of that you, don't you understand? I understand everything that you're saying. I, maybe it's the soap. Maybe something is not taking effect. I'm not sure, okay? But maybe you're just smelling right, because I don't know what child you're smelling, but you're not smelling my child. Maybe you're not smelling my I'm not using that deodorant on my child. Do I need to come down there for you with the cops and sue your entire establishment? You don't want that to happen. Stay away from my child. Are you crazy? You know, matter of fact, where's my son? Ma'am, your son is fine. Your son is in there with the rest of the kids. They're playing. I, you know, today is the first day I sprayed a little bit of male deodorant on you. You said what? Let's see how that works okay, out. Okay, so you crazy. crazy. Look, shut up. Shut up. Can, can you come up to me for a couple of minutes? I'll be, I'm, I'm bringing my there right now. I'll be there within an hour because you must be crazy. What do you mean you sprayed my son? Ma'am, I just sprayed a little bit of deodorant on him just to see if we can... If I we didn't can. give him permission to do that, and I keep telling you that there's nothing wrong with my child, and you took it upon yourself to go and spray my child, and you weren't supposed to do that. Are you crazy? I'm bringing my right now. Okay, but well, what are you coming here for? The boy is... He, he, your son Malik is fine. Why are you coming here? No, he's clearly not fine. If you're going around spraying why don't you spray Because clearly it's your smelling and reeking and funky as hell. I didn't give you no to spray my child. I'm going to come down there and I promise you, I promise you, I'm going to shoot the all y'all because you look crazy. Okay, let me say this, ma'am. Your son is musty. He's been reeking for the last... My son is not musty. How many times have I told you that he's not musty? Okay. You know what? I ain't even trying to hear you because you, you, you're clearly crazy. How you going around spraying people's kids? I don't with my child. Did you smell the other kids? You know what? I'm about to get in my car. Come on there for your ass, so you must be crazy. Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Oh. Hello? Why did you
you hang up on me? I'm trying to fix the problem, man. Wait a minute, what the f***? Well, I told you that I'm coming down there. I'll be there in 10 minutes. What? I needed to let you know one more thing that's going on here. How could you possibly need to let me know? Because I'm on my way to right now. Where are you now? Are you in your car? Where are you? I am heading to my car, about to get in my car to come down there for because you must be crazy spraying my child. Before you get to your car, I need I need to tell you one more thing about your son, okay? Please, what do you possibly have to tell me? I want to tell you that what? this is, listen to me, this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your girlfriend Cheryl got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing here in the parking lot about to come down there with and that knew exactly what I was about. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him because I'm thinking, I know my child is musty. I know my child is clean and he doesn't smell. Ooh, I'm going to get him. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked to her. She said, she's right here in her cubicle. You got to call her right now. I said, okay, just chill out. I'm going to call her. Uh, we got to get a you don't know. <laughs> is, is Malik nice and clean? <laughs> Malik is always nice and clean and smelling right. So I don't know what the hell you were talking about. I was like, that's my child. He got the wrong child. You are about to get it. You don't even know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, Vanessa, you got to tell me one more thing, baby. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? <laughs> <laughs> the one and only Steve Harden <laughs> Show.